Hello and welcome back to another video. In this problem, we're asked if g of x is equal to 3 plus x plus e to the x, find g inverse of 4. So if g inverse of 4 equals x, then g of x for whatever x is equals 4, because we swap the variables. Therefore, we plug in 4 for g of x, we have 3 plus x plus e to the x. How do we solve this? Well, there's not a particularly easy way to do it, except to plug in low values. Uh, usually with these, it's um, a pretty good idea to plug in negative 1, 0, and 1, or some associated function with it. Like if you had a log base 10, maybe try plugging in 10, right? If you had ln, maybe plug in e, but start here. And so here we have um, this function, f of x, is what I'll call it. We are evaluating it at these values. So negative 1 would be 3 minus 1, because it's plus negative 1, plus e to the negative 1. 3 minus 1 is 2. e to the, one, e to the negative 1 is 1 over e. 0, we have 3 plus 0 now, plus e to the 0. 3 plus 0 is 3, e to the 0 is 1, so we have 3 plus 1 is 4. And finally, for 1, we have 3 plus 1 plus e to the 1. This is 4 plus e. So, we can see that when x is equal to 0, this function, 3 plus x plus e to the x, is equal to 4. Therefore, to solve this equation, x equals 0. Therefore, since g inverse of 4 equals 0, sorry, equals x, it must equal 0. And we know that this is the only solution because for a function to have an inverse, it must be 1 to 1. So for both of these functions, g and g inverse, for any given y value, there can only be one x value. So we know the only solution is 0. Uh, 